We are discussing insertion sort in this video. As usual, we'll cover some theory, then we'll implement insertion sort in Python. At the end, we have an interesting exercise for you to solve. So make sure you watch till the end. Let's say you have this unsorted list of numbers. One way you can sort these numbers is create a different array on the left hand side. Let's say that is your sorted array. Pick the first element from the unsorted array, put it in the sorted array in a such a way that that array remains sorted. Right now there are no elements, so you can just put the element directly there. Let's take the second element. 38 you want to put in that array so that that array remains sorted. So you will put 38 after 21. Then you pick 29. Now when you put 29 into that array, you cannot put it at the end because it has to be after 29 before 38. So you'll have to do a little bit array shuffling here and then insert it in the middle. So you are moving 38 uh, one element behind. Next comes 17. For 17, you will put that into the first place. So you take 17 from unsorted array, compare it uh, with the elements starting from beginning in the sorted array. When you compare it with 21, you find that 21 is already greater. So then you just put it in the front. So you continue this way and on the left hand side you will get a sorted array. This approach is fine, but it requires using separate array. The question is, can you do it without using a separate array? So just pause the video, think about this. I think there is a way you can use it, uh, you can do this uh, from the same array itself so that you don't have to create an extra array. All right, let's talk about that approach. I hope during that pause, you get an idea. See, the way you learn algorithms is before looking at the solution directly, you try to come up with your own idea on how you can solve a problem. That will make you a very good programmer. That will make your algorithm uh, skills very, very strong. So now I have this array. So I take a pointer. I start from the second element. So anything to the left hand side of the pointer is a sorted array. When I start with second element, the first element is of course sorted because if you have one element array, it is sorted all the time. Now you take the second element and you try to put in on the left hand side so that it is sorted. So left hand side it's 21 which is less so already sorted so let's move the pointer. Okay, when you move the pointer, I am changing the color of this 38 cell which means now the first two elements are sorted. I go to 29. Now I compare it with the sorted array. So that then I go to 38 first, then 38 is bigger. Okay. So then I go to 21. 21 is smaller, which means I need to insert 29 in between 21 and 38. So I will do that. And we'll look into Python code how exactly to do this. Uh, but in this theory part, just assume that you're picking up element from unsorted array, putting it in a sorted array so that the order is maintained. You move to 17. Then you look in the left hand side. So you begin with 38 first. 38 is bigger. Okay. You move to 29. Bigger. Move to 21. Bigger. You insert 17 at the beginning. So this is how now this looks. And you keep on doing this until your entire array is sorted. So you see how a simple trick can kill so many birds in one stone. All right, let's talk about the performance. I took this from Wikipedia. The worst case performance 
is order of n square comparison and swaps so just imagine the whole array is not sorted so every time you pick up the element you have to perform those many swaps so you are going through n elements and for every element you are doing n swaps that's why order of n square base case is order of n because even if the array is sorted you are still doing n comparison and swaps will be order of one the space complexity there is not much space complexity maximum order of one because you might create one variable to hold that anchor element all right again this is from wikipedia it's a simple algorithm you will see in python it's only few line of code but when your list is very big it is not efficient so you will use this for maybe smaller list and here are some of the benefits you can read through them uh, benefits and some of the aspects of insert and sort when you use sort function in python it already uses some internal uh, some algorithm so you will never have to more in most of the cases when you're doing python programming you don't have to do insert and sort implementation on your own you're using this in build algorithm but having this understanding of how algorithm works allows you to develop this algorithmic mindset and you might use the things which you learn from this to make your code better let's jump into coding now as you saw in the presentation we always start with the first element so we'll run a loop where we'll say for i in range one two length of elements okay do something we saw that the first element you can consider it as sorted then start with the second element and then uh, try to take one element at a time and try to put it in the sorted area on the left hand side in a right order so we'll call the element that we are dealing with right now an anchor so your anchor is elements of i and what you're doing is you're going on the left hand side so left hand side is what left hand side is um element which is one place less than the current element so let's call it j j is one less than your current element right so i minus one and you want to start from that to all the way till zero so while j is greater than or equal to zero and you want to stop so until so let's do this until your elements of j are greater than anchor you continue but right and then when you continue you want to swap those elements so you see this case here here uh so here uh let's see yeah when you are 17 you start with okay let's do this okay when you are 29 you start with 38 38 is greater so you continue you get 21 when you get 21 you stop okay and you make an exchange so and by the way when you're here what you'll do is you store 29 less than an anchor and then you swap 38 here okay so literally what you're doing is 29 is here so this is your anchor now okay and then you put 38 here you see you put 38 here then you go to 21 so 21 is greater than this so you stop okay and then what you do is the anchor which is 29 you put here so that's the method so first we are doing swap so in j plus one we are copying element from the left so this is just swapping 
from left to right. Of course, you need to reduce J. And then in the end, you will do J plus one is equal to anchor. So when your loop is terminated, you know, when you're here at the, at the 21 element, this will be a J and you'll do J plus one, which is this and assign anchor. So it will be 29. Let's run. You see, the array is sorted. So, so only few line of code, very simple. And I have this habit of running through different scenarios whenever I am writing my code. So I will take different arrays. One is empty, one has one element, one is shorter in reverse order, and I want to test my code. And you will notice in the output that all these arrays are sorted. Now comes the most interesting part of this tutorial, which is an exercise. Without doing exercises, it's impossible to learn data structures and algorithms. I have this question here, where you have a list of numbers, you have to find a running median. Median is an even number list, where med median is an average of two middle numbers in a sorted list. So when you take this array, you will use some in some technique you learned in inserts and short to build a sorted array somehow on the go and take a median. Okay. So try it out. I hope it works for you. Do not click on the solution without trying. Because if you click on solution without trying, there are three disadvantages. One, you, your computer will get coronavirus. Second, that guest who is very annoying will come to your home and stay for a month. And third, when you are watching your favorite cricket match, uh, you will get a power cut in your home. So if you don't want to go through this horrible experiences, make sure you try on your own first, then you click on the solution. Thank you.